Born in 1949, Sierra Sam was named after the Sierra Engineering Company who built him. Weighing in at 200 pounds, he stood upright at 5 feet 10 inches. Modeled on real pilots, his steel and rubber construction accurately mimicked the size and weight of U.S. Air Force aviators. They were simply a dummy with movable joints, movable limbs. They were the right height and the right weight. So they may be dropped out of an airplane with a parachute, and the goal of the test was to see if the parachute opened and maybe see if there were any broken parts on the dummy. While Sierra Sam made pilot's life safer, his use in the car industry was limited. His highlight reels did provide shocking evidence of what happens to a body thrown from a car. But his crudely jointed limbs meant he didn't sit in the car like we do. And his inaccurate weight distribution meant when the car crashed, he didn't act like a human occupant. This lack of human-like responses, coupled with little or no internal instrumentation, meant his so-called biofidelity was low. Crash dummies need to be designed so they behave the way a human would behave. As an example, the ribs of a crash dummy are designed so they compress the same amount as a human rib cage would compress. The difference is the dummy's ribs are designed not to break. Instead, we measure injury risk from that crash test. Although he didn't make the grade, Sierra Sam is considered the grandfather of all modern dummies. It's in his memory that they strive for the ultimate goal of perfect biofidelity.